Hi Ray, Nick here from LA Mazda. Just wanted to shoot you a quick video walk around of the 2018 CX-5 GT Tech you inquired on. Here she is here in the beautiful soul red. I know this was your number one choice in color, so I figured I'd pull it up for you. The GT Tech does come with the premium Mazda emblem right center of the grill there with the beautiful LED wraparound headlights with the LED fog lights down below. Coming around to the side, you do have the 19 inch gun smoked alloy wheels. Mirrors are located on the door rather than the A pillar, opens up the view for the driver. You also have the signal indicator on the outside of the mirror here with the blind spot monitoring just on the inside here. Keyless entry, just press this, she'll open up for you. Nice and easy. And to the left on the inside of the door, you have your power windows, door locks, mirror controls, your Bose sound system down below. Full premium leather interior with your two-way power uh, memory set seating, 10-way power seat with the lumbar support. And taking the step on the inside here, I'll just go over some of the options with you. By your left knee, you're going to have your power lift gate, your traction control, as well as your lane departure warning. You can turn it on or off there. Left of the steering wheel, you have your Bluetooth and volume controls, as well as your signal and wiper or lighting controls there. To the right, you have your radar cruise control as well as your wiper controls there. Vehicle does come with the heads up display. As you guys know, I know you were driving this model earlier today, but it does display up here, shows your speed, um, the speed limit, as well as your navigation if you have a route set in place. Touch screen when the vehicle stopped, but as soon as you're in motion, you are forced to use Mazda's Connect system here. Very user friendly, very easy to use once you get the hang of it. Heated seats, heated steering wheel, center of the dash with your dual climate control system. Um, automatic transmission, if you tap it over to the left while it's in drive, you can choose to drive it like a manual, along with your sport mode there. Coming here into the armrest, tons of storage space, along with another 12 volt, two USB ports, an aux cord, and as well as a location for your navigation SIM card. Now we'll make our way to the back here, show, show you the room you'll be working with. I know you guys just drove this vehicle today and this is just a refresher, but just thought I'd walk through the vehicle for you guys myself. Oh, it's still locked up here. So, there we go. <laughs> so as you can see, it's still very, very new. It has all the plastic on the seats. In the back here, just in the armrest, you do have two cup holders as well as your rear heated seat controls with the two USB ports in the armrest. And as you can see, tons of space to fit five passengers if you have to. Very comfortable for four. And making our way to the very back of the vehicle, you have your backup camera just located right here, scratch and waterproof. And nice and easy, just press and hold on your key fob and she opens up for you. Tons of space in the back here for groceries or sporting equipment, whatever the case may be. And what's very nice, what I like about it is just Flick the switch on the, on the side there and it folds down nice and flat and, and even the middle folds down leaves you room to slide anything long in and still have four passengers. So just a little tap the switch there and they fold down nice and easy. Right underneath here you do have access to your full spare tire and as well as the Bose subwoofer. Now we'll just have one last look at it all buttoned up. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to give me a shout. You can reach me at 780-986-9665. Thanks, Ray. Look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day. Bye for now.